Hey everybody, it's Mikkel Moose, and today I'm doing a video on a, the, it's a review of the Sue Cool sewing machine. This is actually the second sewing machine that my 9-year-old daughter, or my 10-year-old daughter, um, has gotten. The first one didn't really work so well. It was really complicated and hard to figure out how to do, so I thought that when she got this one as a birthday present, it would probably be just about as hard. Um, and this one is, uh, you can purchase it at Walmart or at, like, Toys R Us. It's about $30. Uh, I've, it's already been taken out. We've already tried it, and I was really impressed with it. So I thought I'd do a video just to tell you guys. So if you are younger and you want to get into sewing, this is a really cool way to start. Or if you're older and looking for a gift to give someone who is younger who might be interested in sewing, once again, this is a really good place to start because I think it's really cool. Um, so the box has already been opened and it comes with the Sue Cool sewing machine and it needs batteries to operate. I think it was three or four double A's. It also comes with a bunch of fabric for you to sew with and patterns and then the instructions. It also comes with some like decorations and some fluff so you can make like pillows and stuff. Here is the box. Oh, look. The back of the box tells what it comes with. It comes with the Sue Cool sewing machine, eight sheets of Sue Cool fabric, which is this stuff here. It comes with three Sue Cool pre cut projects. Um, one of them was a pillow, and then there's the owl pillow, and or the cup, it was a cupcake pillow a owl pillow, and then the purse, then three pop-out patterns, which are these right here, 14 Sue Cool decoration patterns, which are the flowers and the feathers and stuff like that, and the bows, and then it comes with eight snap buttons, which I don't know where they went, and then the strap, which has already been partially used a bag of stuffing and the instructions. So that's what all comes in here. Now what I thought was interesting when I opened this is it's not actually a sewing machine. It's a felting machine. There is no string involved. Um, so that was one of the problems we had with the other one because it had this needle guard on it. The other one had a needle guard on it and it was really hard to get the string in. And so when I, look at I was looking at this one, I'm like, where do I put this string? Where does it go? Um, and then we tried it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. But Lily's already made a bunch of different things with it, and she can use it really easily. And I think it's cool. But so let's just uh, show you some of the little decorations that it comes with. It comes with, like, little bows and feathers. And mind you, not everything is in here anymore because Lily has already used some of the stuff but some flowers. Um, this is a pillow that you can make, a little owl, and there's the back side. And it's got the little sewing lines all the way around so you can kind of see it. I guess it's not sewing, but um, it came with a little purse that you can sew together. There was another, uh, Lily had already made a purse, there, there was a strap. Um, and so a couple pieces of this spotted fabric and bows, polka dots, and then I don't remember what the other one looked like, but Lily had used that one to make her purse. And then the fluff is just like a regular, regular poof fluff, nothing special now. Um, I'll show you how it works. Now I am curious to see if it works with other fabrics. Um, other felts. This is one of my own personal felts that I have purchased. It's just a regular felt. So I'm actually going to try this out and see if it works with regular felt or if you have to buy like specialized Sue Cool um, felt to make it work. There is the little on and off switch right here in the back. And then this is the manual to make the needles go up and down. And then this is the on and off switch, this big button. Just see it real quick. I'm sorry if I'm going really fast. <laughs> alright, so I'm just going to fold this in half. And I hope you guys can see alright. I'm just placing the fabric 
underneath the needles, and there's three needles in there. that goes on when you turn it on. Apparently it was already on and I turned it off. I'm silly. But the, the guard prevents your fingers from hitting the needles at all. It does make it kind of difficult when you're stacking felt up to make like multiple, like with the purse. There, uh, Lily had put like a couple designs on it and it was getting kind of hard. I think she had it stacked up like four high. It was getting a little difficult when it was like four high to fit it underneath the uh, needle guard. But Anyway, let's see what I've done. I have, it, there's no string, and it's holding together. And that's kind of what felting is, is it kind of mushes the fabric together in a way that holds it together. But that's kind of neat, isn't it? I think it's neat. So it does work with other fabrics. Hopefully you can see this pretty well. I'm going to hold it up closer, and you can see that it is smooshed together there. It's holding. But I thought it was really neat. I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you guys. Um, I would sew some of the other stuff, but I think Lily would get mad at me if I used her stuff. So, but I think it's really neat. And you can buy felt anywhere. And felt's a really easy fabric to work with. It, the ends don't fray too much, so it's a really great beginner's fabric. Uh, this is a really cool present for somebody. Da, 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 da. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very short, quick video. I'm on this one, this is super cool so far. Um, it's by Spin Master, and uh, there's a website, uh, so cool, so cool com. I keep saying Sue instead of so because I do. I don't know why. It's one of those things. 